to be sexy and fucking hot and fucking skinny, but nobody wants to put in the fucking work. Okay? Nobody wants to put in the fucking work. Okay? I hear this all the time. It's like you'll see somebody's lifestyle. Let's use me for the example. Okay? I've ate one meal a day for probably 99% of the last fucking six years. Okay? I've done long fast. Going to the gym for me is like breathing. Fuck. I've been training since I was a little kid. Okay? You take my lifestyle and a lot of these fat fucking pigs will be like, well, that's not realistic. That's not realistic. Fuck. You know what's not realistic? Me being a fat fucking pig. That's not reality for me, you fucking moron. Okay? If you're not willing to put in the fucking work, you're never going to get the fucking result. Ever. Ever. Stop looking for the fucking easy way out. Okay? The easy way out, you're not going to get there. You'll never get there. Stop looking for the fucking easy way out, okay? You're never going to get there, okay? Trying to fucking do things in two seconds, not committing for like a solid year to shit, especially if you're talking about building muscle. These fucking morons things are going to build muscle like a month, like some real fucking tissue. Ain't going to happen, dummy. Ain't going to happen. You got to put in the fucking time, you fucking idiot, Okay, there's methods out there that work so fucking good. If you just did them for one year, at least you wouldn't be a fat pig. Okay, for example, one meal a day. One quick fucking meal a day. If you did that simple fucking routine and threw in the odd longer fast on snake juice, you're going to fucking never get fat. Okay, you might not be ripped if you're eating that one meal and not logging the calories and fucking actually watching the food choices, but if you just ate to where you're comfortably full every fucking day, throwing in some 48, 72, skipping a day of eating once in a while, maybe doing the odd seven day fast once a year, okay? That routine on its own will make it so you never get fat, okay? You'll never get fat, fuck, okay? I could eat OMAD, loose OMAD, okay? Loose meaning shit. Okay, I can eat a shitty OMAD diet every fucking day for a year with no long fast and the heaviest I'll get is 180. The heaviest I'll fucking get is 180. That's with a loose OMAD diet. You know how fucking easy that fucking routine is? It's a fucking joke. Can't even do that for a fucking year, you fat pigs. Okay, you can't even do that. Okay, me ripped. I'm ripped at like sub 170. So eating a loose OMAD diet, that only puts me at 12 pounds-ish over ripped. Like, how fucking easy is that? Okay, how in the fuck can you ever get fat or morbidly obese just doing that fucking routine? Then you throw in some long fasts. That's your default routine, that OMAD routine. You throw in some longer fasts. How in the fuck are you fat, you fucking idiot? Because that lifestyle, which is a fucking joke, It's still not realistic to you. Not realistic. That's why you ever losing any real amount of weight is not realistic. You're going to be fat till the day you die. Fucking idiots. Okay, counting calories. Okay, so you got long fasts. Okay, you got one meal a day. You got calorie counting. Okay, instead of arguing which one works better, do them all, you fucking dummy. Do it all, okay? If you want to tighten up the OMAD routine, okay, first get the routine down pat, okay? Okay, okay. I'm eating one meal a day. I never fucked that up, okay? I never fucked that up. I never prematurely break my fast, okay? I don't fuck up my OMAD routine. Good. Now it's like, ah, I want to get a little leaner, okay? So then you start chucking in some longer fast and you start tightening up that fucking meal, Okay, with maybe some calorie counting or weight logging, you fucking dummies. The scale counts the calories for you. Okay, most of you are too fucking stupid to fucking count calories anyway. But the scale will do it for you if you weigh yourself every fucking day. Weighing yourself once a week is fucking about as useless as fucking counting calories once a week. Okay, you gotta do them both every day or they don't fucking work, you fucking dummy. Okay, this is simple shit. Okay, when you see people that are getting ripped, that's what they're doing. You got to be accountable. You'll never fucking get ripped. Okay, you'll never get ripped if you're not fucking logging your weight 
and or counting the fucking calories on your old mad routine or whatever. Maybe you're eating three squares a day. You can get ripped on that too, you fucking dummy. The weight log of the fucking calories on the daily. That's whatever your default day-to-day -day routine is. That routine, you have to at least maintain weight if not lose. Okay, the long fasts are bonus weight loss. Okay, bonus fucking weight loss. Okay, fasting is not weight loss, you fucking dummies. Okay, fasting is fasting. Weight loss is fucking weight loss. Fucking by looking at the fucking scale, you know you lost weight. And this is the other thing, even when you're counting calories. Why do people count calories? To lose fucking weight. How the fuck do you know if you lost weight on the daily? Okay, you're going to see clothes get loose and shit on the longer term. But on the daily, you don't know if you're at a fucking caloric deficit unless you fucking get on the fucking scale, you idiot. Okay? And another thing as far as counting calories goes, when you're actually tightening up your fucking regular day-to-day -day diet, not counting the long fast. Okay, you're still doing the long fast, you fat pig. Okay, as soon as I start talking calories, they're like, people are like, oh, he's not doing fasts anymore. Or I talk about the long fast, oh, he's just promoting that and no calorie counting or no other accountability. You fucking dummies, you do it all, you fucking idiot. You do it fucking all. Fuck, one of the best fucking benefits you get of counting calories is just doing something. Just doing something to fucking slow yourself down so you don't eat like a fucking pig. That's probably the best thing that comes from counting calories. Okay, because if you just counted the calories, say you're eating one meal a day and you're just counting the calories, you might be counting them perfectly, all right? There's going to be some error, but if the scale's not dropping doesn't matter if you're counting them. Obviously, you got to auto-regulate the fucking calories to make the scale drop, you dummy. Okay? But counting them in general, just actually counting them and logging it, that takes a bit of work. That builds good habits, you fucking dummies. Then if the scale's not dropping, you count calories the same as you did the day before, but you just make sure you count less. So if you counted X amount of calories on Monday and the scale's not dropping slowly, obviously you pull that fucking calorie number back fucking two, three, four, five hundred. You fucking dummy. Fuck. Simple. The fucking weight log is number one, okay? Write it the fuck down on paper, you lazy cunts. Fuck your fucking apps. Okay, the reason I tell people to write it down is because it sticks in your fucking head. The weight. So then it's easy to auto-regulate. Okay, these are all things that you don't want to do because you're a lazy piece of shit. You're a fat, lazy pile of fucking pig shit. Okay, you don't want to do none of it. That's why you're a fat pig. Okay, this is basic shit. At minimum, at fucking minimum, make your day look exactly the same. OMAD is very simple because you don't have to fucking prep a bunch of food. You have a time that you eat and do that every fucking day. So it's like, okay, that's a good habit. Okay, now I got old mad down pat. Okay, I can eat every day. Now, Cole tells me if I'm a real fat ass, get some bonus weight loss, do a 72-hour fast on snake juice. Okay, start throwing in some fast. Then when you come off the fast, you're not going to fuck up the refeeds because you got a good habit on your default routine, which might be old mad. Okay, and then if you're doing old mad for a fucking sustained period of time, and you notice that, okay, I'm maintaining on OMAD, not really even trying, just eating a fucking quick meal, not counting shit. You want to tighten it up? Fucking start counting the calories to tighten up that fucking meal. Or another way to count calories where you don't even have to count them, it's another fucking disciplinary act, is going to be eating the same fucking thing every day. Okay, that works the same as counting the calories. Example, let's say you eat a meal... That's exact same fucking food. Same portions, everything. If you're not losing weight on that meal, and you don't even know how many calories that meal is exactly, but you know it's the same every day. So all you do is just pull some food out of that meal. This is common fucking sense. Every motherfucking asshole watching this video, you already know how to lose the weight. You already know what to do. Okay, you just don't want to do it. You just want me to tell you some magic fucking secret trick. There is no magic trick, you idiot. It's all going to take work. 
It's all going to take work. I'm just making it so a fucking complete idiot can do it. Okay? Like, obviously, meal prepping food and counting every fucking calorie, that's going to take some brains. That's going to take some smarts. Okay, so it's so easy if you're going to count calories if you're at least only doing it for one meal a day. Plus, the fasting benefit is good. Obviously, the fucking health benefit, fasting most of the day is going to be good. And then the fucking longer fast you throw in, that's health. Like, I don't fast for fucking weight loss. Okay, I haven't fasted for weight loss for fucking ever. Okay, when I fast, it's for health benefits. I lose a bunch of weight, but that's momentary for me. Okay, my main diet, my day-to-day diet, my 99% of the year diet, that's where the weight actually comes off and stays off. Okay, that's what counts. Fuck. Okay, that's what counts. Now, the thing is about the long fast at the start, morbid obese pigs, it works great because it motivates the fuck out to see the scale drop like a stone at the start. Perfect. Okay, but eventually you gotta learn how to fucking eat every day. You gotta have accountability every fucking day. The day to day. Okay, the 99% of the year that you're not doing long fasts. Okay, if that is fucking flawed, if that's a flawed fat pig fucking shit process, you're never going to keep the fucking weight off. So do something you can stick to for a fucking year. Okay, get that in your head. Give yourself a fucking year to get to your goal. Obviously, people that need to only lose a small amount of weight, it's not going to take a year. But I got people that are fucking two, three, four hundred pounds overweight. Okay, give yourself a fucking year. And don't go backwards. The number one rule is do not gain weight back, you fucking morons. Do not gain weight back. The only way you're going to do that is having fucking solid accountability on your day-to-day diet. Okay, your day-to-day diet. Okay, that's the reality, you fucking fat pigs. Getting the results that people get by actually doing those things that you call not realistic, you're never going to get their result. Their result is going to be not realistic as well to you. Okay? Their lifestyle is not only not realistic, you're never going to get their fucking result. Ever. Ever. So you're a lazy pig. You're a lazy pig. Okay? You will not fucking change your goddamn daily habits. Those small little details. All you have to do is start with something that you can do every day. Ask yourself, can I do this every day for a year? If you don't think you can, then don't do that. The long fast don't count. You're not going to fast for a year straight. Okay? That's more, can you fucking just do a 72-hour fast? Okay? The day-to-day process. The fucking day-to-day. Like I said earlier, OMAD is a joke. Okay? If you just did OMAD, if you ate one fucking meal a day for a year with nothing else involved no other fucking tricks no fucking keto no fucking long fast no nothing you will never get morbidly obese eating one meal a fucking day if you want crazy fucking weight loss results and health results to be your reality then you gotta fucking make those tiny day to day details your fucking reality you idiot Fuck, soon as you're fucking saying that that lifestyle that creates those results is not realistic, you getting those results will not be realistic, you fat fucking pig. Till next time, stop fucking eating fatty.